Hi everyone. Let's see today's question. So today's question is based on the concept of matrices, wherein we'll see how to find the inverse of a matrix, which is a two by two matrix. Let's understand the question first. The question says there is a matrix A, which is given by one tan x minus tan x and one. So now the matrix A is given to us and they are asking us to find the value of A transpose into A inverse. So first of all, let's find both of them separately and then we'll multiply these two matrices to find the value of this A transpose into A inverse. So first of all, if you know A transpose, how do you find A transposes? You convert your rows into columns and columns into rows for A transpose. So if I write my first column as my first row, it becomes one and minus tan x and second column to second row, that makes it tan x and one. So we get A transpose for the matrix. Now let's first find A inverse and to find A inverse first, let's understand whether A inverse exists or not. So A inverse, as you know, will always exist if the determinant of A inverse turns out to be non-zero number, right? So let's first find the determinant of A. So if I find the determinant of A, it becomes one tan x minus tan x. So now if I find the determinant of A, I get one and this becomes plus tan square. Now, if you know 1 plus tan square x is sec square x, which is not equal to 0. So I can say that A inverse exists. And when A inverse exists, remember this idea or a trick to find A inverse of 2 by 2 matrix every time. What you need to do is if let's say your matrix is A, B, C, D. So if you want to find A inverse, what you do is one upon determinant of A into a joint of A is the formula for finding A inverse. In that, you just find determinant of A and for a joint of A, you write this elements of the matrices in this form that says D minus B minus C and A, right? So now if in this same fashion, I find the matrix inverse for this A. So A inverse here also becomes one upon determinant of A, that is one plus tan square X. And if I write it in this fashion of D minus B minus C and A, so D and A, if I replace it still is one and one, minus B makes it minus tan X and minus C makes it So I get the A inverse also. Now, if I want to multiply A transpose and A inverse to get the answer of the question which is asked to us, let's move to next page first. So A inverse that I obtained was one upon one plus tan square X. Then it was minus tan X upon one plus tan square X. Then it was tan x upon 1 plus tan square x. And we got 1 upon 1 plus tan square x. A transpose, if I see, it was 1 minus tan x, tan x, and 1. So it was 1 minus tan x, tan x. Now, if I take the product of the two, A transpose into A inverse, it becomes one minus tan x, tan x, one. And the inverse of that is one upon one plus tan square x minus tan x upon one plus tan square x, tan x, upon 1 plus tan square x and the last one I get is 1 upon 1 plus tan square x. 
Now let's multiply this. Now we know that whenever you need to multiply two matrices, what you do is multiply the first row with the first column. So if I multiply first row with the first column, I get one into one, that is one upon tan one plus tan square x and minus tan x into tan x that gives you one minus tan square x. So one minus tan square x upon one plus tan square x. The second idea here, it says one into minus tan x, that is minus tan x and minus tan x into one, that is again minus tan x or so minus two tan x upon one plus tan square x. Denominator, the third element is tan x into 1, that is tan x upon 1 plus tan square x. And this is also 1 into tan x tan x. So that gives you 2 tan x upon 1 plus tan square x. And the last element here, it says minus tan square x upon 1 plus tan square x plus 1 upon 1 plus tan square x. So 1 minus tan square x I'm getting again upon 1 plus tan square Now, if you know the formula for double angle in trigonometry, it says cos 2x is 1 minus tan square x upon 1 plus tan square x and sin 2x is 2 tan x upon 1 plus tan square x. So easily now I can replace both of those elements by cos 2x and sin 2x. So I'll replace these elements here. It says one minus tan square x upon one plus tan square x, that is cos two x. This becomes minus of, sorry, two tan x upon one plus tan square x is the formula for sin two x. So it becomes minus of sin two x. Two tan x upon one plus tan square x is again for sin two x. And 1 minus tan square x upon 1 plus tan square x is cos 2x. So this is the product of A transpose and A inverse, which is known to us. Now this, if you see, it patches with the option in the same question, it patches with the option A. So answer for this question, which is given to us, is A. I think you have understood this well that how to find the inverse of a two by two matrix. We'll meet again with the next question tomorrow. Till then, like, share and subscribe if you found this really helpful. Thank you.